Okay, guess what? I just uh, did some checking on NASA Goddard Space Center. Um, they haven't found anything as of April uh, give, um, uh, pertaining to this. This is uh, now April uh, 26, 2008. You would post this on February 26th. Um, the latest article I came across in relation to sun and global warming is um, April 3rd. Uh, in the BBC News, it was quoted directly from Na uh, you know, NASA's research, and it says, No sun link to climate change. Um, let me give you, this is just the popular uh, version. There's direct. There's a whole bunch of stuff in the peer review. If you go take a look, uh, there's a whole bunch of links off the NASA Goddard um, Space Center, both the peer-reviewed literature and otherwise. Uh, but let's take a look here. Where are we here? Sorry, just waiting for the page to load. That's the... So anyway, if apparently if the sun's been cleared of uh, if um, if the, apparently the sun's been cleared uh, of climate change, then uh, you know then we've got you know if the science is actually saying different now, um, looks like uh, that whole little dip may not have actually been as much of an effect, and we're still dealing with the warming effect overall. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, scientists have produced further compelling evidence showing that modern day climate change is not is uh, is not caused by the sun's activity. The, recent co the research contradicts the favored theory of climate skeptics that changes in the cosmic rays coming to Earth uh, determine cloudiness and temperature. The idea that variations in solar activity affect uh, cosmic uh, ray intensity. Um, but UK scientists have found no significant link between cosmic ray cl uh, and cloudiness in the past 20 years. Uh, presenting their findings in the Institute of Physics journal, uh, Environmental Research Letters, uh, um, uh, re environmental research letters. The University of, Lanca uh, of Lancaster team explained that they used three different ways to search uh, for a correlation and for found virtually none. So if you're looking for a link to the peer-reviewed literature, uh, this was just published on April 3rd or a little bit before that, and it's called uh, the Environmental Research Letters. It's the, in it's the Institute of Physics uh, uh, peer-reviewed journal in Britain. So you can take it a look up there. This is the latest peer-reviewed research. And it says, uh, the um, the latest piece of evidence, which uh, puts the co uh, which puts the uh, which at the very least puts the cosmic ray theory developed by Danish scientist Henrik Svensmark uh, at the center of um, uh, at the Danish National Science Space Center under heavy pressure. Dr. Svensik's idea uh, formed the uh, centerpiece of a controversial documentary called the Great, Great Global Warming Swindle. Um, we started this game uh, we started on this game because Sven, uh, Svensmark's work said Terry Sloan of the Lancaster University. If, they, um, if he is right, then we are going down the wrong path, um, taking all these uh, expensive measures to cut carbon emissions. If he is right, we could carry on with carbon emissions. No. Uh, anyway, uh, the Svensmark hypothesis, um, the, the Svensmark hypothesis is limited, uh, um, is, is that the solar uh, wind is weak, uh, more cosmic rays penetrate the Earth, or when it is. Um, Professor Sloan's team has investigated the link uh, by looking for periods in time uh, and for places on Earth which had documented weak or uh, strong cosmic ray intervals, and seeing that, uh, if that affected the cloudiness of the times of the um, uh, observed in the locations. For example, sometimes uh, the sun throws burps into a huge cloud of charged particles. Uh, anyway, the limited effect. Dr. Svenspark himself was unimpressed by the findings. Terry Sloan uh, has failed to understand how cosmic rays work on clouds, he told BBC News. Um, well, anyway, uh, apparently there was a, uh, um, over the course of the uh, sun's 11 natural year cycle, there was a weak correlation between cosmic ray activity and cloud cover, but cosmic ray variability could explain, uh, could at the, at the very most explain only a quarter of the changes in cloudiness. And for the following cycle, no, no correlation was found. Um, anyway, he, was, he said, um, uh, Terry Sloan has simply failed to understand how cosmic rays work on clouds. He predicts much bigger effects than we would do as between the equator and the poles after the sun, uh, after solar eruptions, then because he doesn't see these big effects. He says our story is wrong, uh, when in fact we have plenty of evidence. But another researcher who has worked on the issue, uh, Giles Harrison from uh, Reading, Reading University, said that the work was important as it provides an upper limit on the, on the co uh, cosmic ray cloud effect in global satellite co uh, cloud data. Dr. Harrison used his own research, uh, looking at the UK only, uh, only uh, looking at the UK only, has suggested that cosmic rays make only a very weak contribution to cloud formation. The Svensmark hypothesis has also recently been attacked uh, in recent months by Mike Atwood um, from the UK's uh, Rutherford uh, Appleton Laboratory. He has shown that the last over uh, over the last 20 years, solar activity has slowly been declining, which should have led to a drop in th in, te in global temperatures. If the theory is correct. The IPCC. Uh, in its vast assessment of climate change, uh, 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 climate science last year, um, concluded that the, since the temperature began rising rapidly in the 1970s, the contribution of humankind's greenhouse emissions has outweighed the solar variability uh, by a factor of 13 to 1. According to Terry Sloan, the message coming from the research is simple: we tried to corroborate Svensmark hypothesis, but we could not. 
As far as we can see, uh, he has no reason to challenge the IPCC. The IPCC has got it right. So we better continue carry, cutting out carbon emissions. And while well, you've heard that, it came out in the environmental research physics letters. Um, there's been plenty of work showing that the solar activity has been declining in the past 20 years. Um, again, and if you want to take a look at further research, look at my video, A Global Warming, a look at the science behind it. Um, it explains in terms of chemistry uh, how this works. Um, there's, if you want to go look, uh, go look up the NASA to Goddard Space Center site and look up global warming there. There's not only an FAQ there, but it gives link upon link upon link to uh, peer-reviewed literature. Um, you know, nature got involved in this and, you know, and agree with it. I mean, the, the science is pretty well incontrovertible on this one. I know you want to say it's an inconvenient lie, but... Um, you know, I took a look at the data you were. I took a look at the data you were referring to, but um, further work has come up since then um, in relation to this. Um, the there is no more. Uh, there is no um, work correlating the sun to this. And uh, I mean, if there is uh, a, an actual drop, um, you know, if there has been an actual drop, you know, in that bulk in that bulk of time period, then probably uh, uh, the human uh, humans released another chemical or something, else, or the Earth managed to reshift itself in the atmosphere to find a way to counteract it. And if that is the case, then that is very promising, because we might have a means of counteracting global warming. But on the other hand, um, you know, like I said, I've taken a look at the, I've taken a look at this. Um, you know, I've, like I said, I've quoted the source directly. Um, I'm actually uh, going to type the source right in here, um, so this way you can, pr uh, so this way you can take a look at this, and uh, um, and I'll uh, email you the pages to where I got it from as well, and you can just take a look at the NASA Goddard Space Center in general. Look up uh, the data there. There's been no confirmation of this particular graph there, so I don't know what to make of it. But I'll tell you this much: um, if you're trying to suggest that it's a sun model, the evidence uh, to the contrary seems to be um, fairly far, uh, fairly strong against that hypothesis. Sorry, just doesn't quite fly this time. Keep trying, though. Toodles.